Hey coach, um, so glad you found the video. A couple things. First of all, make sure you subscribe and like. Second thing, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me show you how to put a roadmap and become a nationally ranked coach. Um, I've done it for 30 plus years. Let me help you do that over at teachhoops.com. Let's head off to the video. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, High School Hoops. Coach, I'm going to have a brain fart too. You never know. Always have. Oh, we can always have those when Take you're doing two. these. <laughs> um, trust me, a number of intros I've had to redo multiple times. Um, but anyway, before we, all of you know that we're talking about criticism today. Um, so obviously you saw it in the title before we're doing it. Before we jump and talk about criticism and coaching, and if you're a high school coach and you're listening to this, you're going to have criticism. Um but I'd like to give a big shout out to our two sponsors. First of all, teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. The one-stop shop for basketball coaches. I got to remember what I said. Oh, it is the Walmart, the Target, and the um, uh, Macy's of, of basketball coaching. It's a little bit of everything. Um, too much, actually, that I'm kind of trying to decipher. I've got a program of coming in and doing a bunch of stuff, and we're revamping it. But anyway, prices are going to go up. Um, I do have two kids in college. I did say that last week, but I'll say that again. So if you want to help Coach Collins out uh, a little bit, come join for a couple months. And then also go over and uh, check out Dr. Dish, the number one shooting machine on the market. Um, it's easy to set up. It's easy to use. I'm to the point now where I don't even have to set it up anymore. Told The boys can do it by themselves, and they know how to do it. They know how to get to the workouts. Um, you want to get strong, you lift weights, you want to become a shooter, you shoot. Dr. Dish can help you do that. Tell them I sent you high school hoops. Coach Collins sent you. They will take really good care of you. Great Minnesota company, big, good Midwest company. Um, all right. So today we're going to talk about criticism, coach. So what's your thought on criticism? Uh, yeah. So, so how to handle criticism as, as a coach, you're definitely going to have people that, that don't like, you know, what you do all the time, <laughs> sh shockingly. Uh, right now, I'm I'm actually in our uh, our golf season, and I had a parent kind of come and criticize me about the the makeup of the schedule, how things were maybe not super clear for where the JV should be, where the varsity should be, and just a little background on on where we're at the for our golf season. Our varsity will typically go out and we'll play meets, and then our we will be allowed based on the amount of spaces at the course, how many JV players can come. So it, it's, it's, it's a court. It, yeah. It's crazy. It's a, very, it's a very fluid situation most of the time. So, Oh yeah. And they, and they, you're, it's all about those golf courses. You want to be open and ready to go for the people that are paying and blah, blah, yes. blah, big yeah. bucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's weird. That golf thing is weird. You'll play at 7. AM kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. Yeah. So, so yeah, just we were, we were getting some criticism on, you know, parents were getting frustrated with, you know, we don't know where our players are supposed to be, when they're supposed to be. And, you know, we were doing the best we could trying to get all the information out in a timely manner based on what we had. And I think, you know, the, the criticism we were getting, like it, it was definitely fair and kind of looking at it. I think the best thing that we were able to do was to assume like the best intentions from, from that parent, right? If right. there's any criticism coming from anywhere, like you have to assume the best intentions. Like they just want, they, they just want to know, they, they want to know the information in a timely manner and you can, whatever, whatever, whatever criticism you're kind of receiving, whether it's, you know, for your basketball team and, you know, people don't like the style of play you do or the offense or the defense, right? You, I think it's best to assume best intentions first and then work backwards from there. Based right. On what you no. And, and, and the thing is, I'm going to tell you, I think a lot of criticism, you can take care of a lot of criticism by over communicating to parents. Yes. It's part of the criticism. <clears throat> the biggest one that I've noticed is they don't know what's going on because most teenagers, don't talk to their parents about the stuff that you say. <laughs> and yes. um, so, you know, if I have to change something, I will tell them I have to change it, but then I will also communicate that to the parents that I have to change it um, because I don't think that's getting home. I think it maybe gets to them, but I don't know if it ever gets, you know, conveyed to the parents about, Hey, you know, practice had to change from early to late because, 
wrestling has some whatever it is um yep. so i think from from a from a high school standpoint i always tell high school coaches over communicate over communicate over communicate that will take care of that will take care of it that's the first thing second thing is at any given time there's really only a couple of kids that are super super happy yes <laughs> it's true yes like you know the f- the fifth player thinks he should be the second player the eighth player thinks he should be the fourth player now if you've built relationships you've built communication you've built trust it's hard to hate uncle bill because he doesn't believe in what you believe in then you know blah 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 you know i'm using an example but yeah. um it's it's if, if they trust you and know that you have the best intentions and i tell that in my per- first parent meeting it's like i can only play five kids yep there's 15 <laughs> on the roster so it's a math I, problem right here <laughs> it is a math problem and it's like i i always tell coaches to do that math problem with their players it doesn't have anything to do with criticism but have all your players put down how many minutes they think they should be playing and then tally it up and then tally up how many minutes are actually off. And then that, that will put them a little bit back in perspective. Um, but I always show that to the parents too. It's like, here's what all your players thought they should play. And here's how many minutes I have. So reality and perception are different things. That's the first thing. Second thing is your parent first. <laughs> yes. So they love their kids. They want their kids to be happy. They want their kids to play. They want their kids to blah, blah, blah. So they, you know, they don't always see. I tell them I'm going to make the best decision I can for all 15 kids. And sometimes that's your son or daughter not playing. It's, yep. it's just because they're not good enough. It's like they made the team. That's the, especially in our school of, you know, 2,100 kids. Just making the team is an accomplishment, you know? Um, so, I think those are the, with criticism, you really got to know that it's part of the game. Have thick skin. Be yes. willing, be willing to take it. Because um, to be honest with you, I'm not even on their radar. Once their kids leave, I'm not, they don't even think, they think zero about Coach Collins. <laughs> so I'm just saying, because it does, it's not right in front of them. Their kids not playing high school basketball anymore. They're moved on. They're either playing or they're not playing. I'm just saying it's like the reality of the world we live on. This is just the point in which they're in right now, and it's very important. Yes. Um, so I think that's what – I think you have to and – I, and I love the idea of assume that criticism is coming from – I'm not sure it is, but assume it is. I think yes. that's a good rule of thumb. Anything yeah. else, Coach? Yeah, I think, yeah, just just that it's not personal. So it's I think not. you kind of hit on that. So Yeah, I don't think it is. I, it's just you got to move on from, from that. So, all right, until next, Coach, thank you. Yep, thank you. Hey, Coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like before you leave. And also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's got everything and a roadmap for you to become a better basketball coach. So go over and check it out. And let's head back to the next video, wherever that would be.